Did you know that when you restart the game, it starts you back at like the beginning and everything? Sorry, I hope my, my volume is not actually... I'm audible. I'm not, I'm not just a weirdo. I think we all know. We all know. Uh, I don't know. I, I, maybe I was just in a bad mood. And that's why That's why everything went the way it did. I'm way too used to playing Dragon Quest Builders. Sorry, so I'm, I'm a little rusty on the control because for some reason in that game, B is jump. <laughs> oh no! Public domain music! Oh, I have five bottle caps. I, I hope that's not important. Oh my god, I can't. It's a big old chompy boy. Who the fuck are you? I bet we have to kick his ass. No? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Oh, that's just a way up. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to be in here. Not even for a cube? Not even for a cube. Just a little man going through town. And the floorboards. Poop. Get to get in line, owl. You've got a you've got a a homing chain to be in. Leave me alone. Just a little itty bitty guy. Little itty bitty guy. Leave me alone. God. Ugh. You got a way by grab him, looks like you do. What's this? It's a mysterious button. I think we need to hit it on the other side first, and then we can hit it on this side. That feels log logical. I think they're slightly out of sync now, too. Ow. Or like, OW! Get it? Because it's OW. It's OW! The OWL of OW! Come on! I spent all my R&D budget on that. Wasn't there like one over here? Why do I remember? <sighs> Whatever.
don't think you lose any height on a sideways jump either. Yeah. Ugh. No, that does not feel comfortable, by the way. This, this game has no chill. Give me my Jumba Juice. Huh. Itty bitty baby man, going on a trip through the journey of time. Oh, these owls are, are human. They got the newmies. Okay. Fuck you. Love the double dip! Ah, oh, man, that could be triple dip if you get unlucky with the guy. Yeah, we're supposed to hit this on the inside, but I, I don't think we can do that until we... Do... Like, it's obviously one of those back and forthy platforms, so we got a back and forthy at first. Yeah. Ugh. It's X! Seriously, is this really something that a goat should be getting up to? Aren't you a little too much of a... What, what, what is the... I forgot what the Latin name is for goat. I forgot what the Latin name is for getting my ass kicked, but... I think we should leave and get some health. Which, you know, is always good gameplay when your player is like, I should probably stop playing the game for a little while. Because my big problem right now is that I can't, uh, that I, that I'm not playing good enough. Like, maybe there's a reason why games like Celeste got rid of that shit. Or at the very least, you know. What's, what's the fun of going all the way out there, right? Like, in, in Banjo... In Banjo-Kazooie, in Banjo, no, Banjo-Tooie, they, they did a lot more of that. But they made it so that enemies respawn there constantly, and there were like a couple of health minigames that would generally give you like a bunch of health. Like, it wasn't a problem, because they, 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 they understood it wasn't fun to deal with. So the point of the regenerative ability was really only a downside once, and for the most part made the game faster to play. Thank you, health machine. For two drinks. God dang, this game has some problems. I'm not too happy about. <laughs> just, just slam the button. Sorry, dude. I, I just, I just want the Sonic Colors theme to start playing. Owl. One, two, three, four. Owl control. Hoot hoot. I wonder if I wonder if the teleport would take me nowhere fucking useful. It would just take me down there. Like, why do you offer the warp if you're just gonna make stages like this? Seriously. You make the warp so that I don't have to do all the shit again. You don't. Make the warp and then just make a, a safety net at the bottom of the level. Come on, pick pick your poison. Like this game changed so much between the tutorial and where we started, right? Like the tutorial was this fun, straightforward platforming little tidbit, and now it's getting weird. It has spider, which like as a mechanic, I don't know why you would do that ever. I don't get it. They, are, they react just fast enough that if you aren't on the ball, they'll hit you. Which I guess, you know, you kind of have to since that's all they really do. But, eh. General, it's really, really tight and twitchy. Don't forget, we are in the opposite zone. This is technically the mirror realm. Man, when I think Banjo Kazooie, what I really like is the parts where I have to backtrack a whole bunch. That's that's the part that I look forward to the most in Banjo Tooie's when I do this shit over and over and over again. I don't think it even happens all that much to begin with. Diggy 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 digging in the wall, popping out the wall. 
Poop! My man, you gotta poop. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. Look! There it is. Wow, that was so nothing. Yo, what always? Can I can I force a a, a fall warp? Because fall warps are kind of look for right now. Three experience points. That's what you do it for. That's what you do it for. Can I hit him lower? Maybe. Like, I need the height, but... Like, I think it needs to prompt me before it can use the warp. Which means getting a little bit of height first. Gotta get a little bit of hype before we're allowed to go back to the checkpoint. I think the idea is that, you, that, that the price for the experience is gotta do it over again, but like, why'd you add all the puzzle stuff for now? Seriously, why do you have health if, if these things spawn on a checkpoint? a little itty bitty baby man. Itty bitty 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 baby man. Follow me along on my little baby journey. Baby man journey. Why, why do you go for the grab instead of landing on top? Well, I am level four. What a coinkydink. <laughs> 